next thing I want to do is what I said I was going to do before. I want to kind of start setting up some mine factory reloaded stuff. So I'm actually real quick going to go run over to the quarry and grab our ingots and stuff so that we can uh, move them over to the system. Do we have any more coal? Probably going to have to go mining and get some more coal actually because we don't have much and this is kind of stopped. Uh, we'll get this appetite as well because that can come in useful when growing stuff, which is nice. Uh, I also harvested some more potatoes when the uh, in the meantime. Uh, look, we got 53 now. Beautiful. Okay, so mine factory loaded stuff. What do we need? We need a harvester. And a harvester, we need three lots of plastic sheets, which are raw plastic. Raw plastic is when we smelt these rubber bars. So let's smelt those down. Let's run outside, plant some more of these down, and get some more rubber, because we need it. So we plant them down, hit them with some fertilizer, and then we can just chop them down. Uh, I might also get some uh, Tinker's Construct stuff done later uh, in a future episode, where we make a smeltery, and then maybe make a lumber axe. Because uh, a lumber axe lets you, uh, it basically does what Tree Capitator did, and it lets you cut down the whole tree in one, which is kind of cool, actually. So we'll cut this down. See if we can get some more rubber so we can make some uh, raw plastic for some sheets. And then hopefully we can get some nice automated stuff going. And uh, actually put some tech into uh, into Tech World 2. So here we go. We'll grab all this stuff. Look at this. I like this fertilizer. I, I knew about fertilizer, but I didn't actually know you could use it as bone meal. Um, I knew you could use it in the mine factory loaded machines. But uh, there you go. You learn something new every day, don't you? So let's go and grab some more of this. And let's put some uh, of these into the furnace, like this. Huzzah. <laughs> and like this. Uh, we can use this rubber wood. We, ugh, we can use this rubber wood to, um, in an extractor from uh, Industrial Craft to make normal rubber. But um, we don't really have an extractor at the minute. So, yeah. Not really the best option. Oh, look at that. Our jetpack's actually getting some juice. Let's grab all these saplings. Don't want to lose those. How many have we got now? Nine. We're back. We're back to back to basics. We're back to where we started. We're back at nine. Look at this. We can get on our house without even trying. Look at that. And then we can fall, and zero damage was taken because of our beautiful rubber boots. How are these doing? We're getting some bars. We've got some raw plastic stuff over there. Let's put. An, I think we need one more raw plastic to make like a set of it. So let's throw that in. Let's have a look. What do we need? Um, I don't know why I started with the harvester. We should probably start with the planter. So planter. Planter, as you may have guessed, plants stuff. So we need some factory machine blocks, which is just stone and plastic sheets. And four of those gets four plastic sheets. So if we do this, we get four plastic sheets. Beautiful. Now I'm going to make... Uh, actually, yeah, let's make another furnace. Why not? We could probably do with it. Here we go. Another furnace. Let's throw it here just to make it look really nice because... Uh, that looks really nice. Uh, how many do we need? We need three stone. So let's throw three of... What do we have that we can burn? Fences? Why not? Just looking around the house for stuff we can burn right now. Uh, here we go. We'll cook some of this up. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, pressure plates we could probably burn. Do we have this? Why do we have this by our door? Look at this. Here we go. Now we can walk outside real easily. Beautiful. Okay. Um, rubber, rubber, rubber wood. Throw that into here. Do we have four now? We do. We can make another set of sheets. Like this. We've got eight sheets. And how's this doing? Almost done. Almost done. Hopefully it won't burn into the next fence. Maybe. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so we can make ourselves three of these. Which is good, because we need three. Exactly three. We need some flower pots, which are bricks, which we have. Look at that. Look at us all prepared for once. Bricks. And we're not prepared at all, are we? Because we need uh, some more bricks. It's okay, we got clay. We can smelt the clay up here into bricks and we should be fine. We only need two more. So we should be good to go. We've got another four plastic. Let me dump some stuff away actually because I don't need some of this stuff that I'm holding on to at the minute. Don't need these. Uh, don't need these. That's fine, we've got a bit of space. So let's craft some more of these. We do need quite a few plastic sheets, that's why I'm still making them. Uh, uh, we need to cook something real quick. Real oh wow look at that look at all that glass we had in there. Gosh. Another fence? Why not? I think sticks are actually really good at like um being used as fuel. Well, I say really good. I think they're the best out of the woods at being used as fuel, so we should probably be using those next. 
Uh, we will do, we will do. Uh, let's make three more so we can get uh, another four. And then we'll see if we've got enough. Okay, there we go. Two more bricks. Enough to make ourselves a pot. There we go. Got two pots. We need a piston, which is all this stuff. Cobblestone, we need some wood, which we can do. Uh, iron redstone, so I think we can do piston. Yep. And then I think we've got what it takes to make... I don't know why it's put cobblestone there. The planter. There we go. We've got a planter. Okay, next thing on the list is a harvester. Which requires plastic sheets, some shears, and the frame thing again. Uh, we are going to need three gold, however. And we only have... We have two. Uh, do we have any gold ready to cook? We do. So let's just throw this straight into this furnace, maybe. Uh, I'm only going to cook one because I don't want to waste it. Uh, like, it could go through here and we could turn that four into eight. So we'll cook one up. We'll take these three. Like this. Let's make ourselves a wooden axe. Or maybe a golden axe, you know what? We could make a wooden axe, but I'm feeling golden axe today. <laughs> so there we go, golden axe. Shears, we can do like this. Apparently they don't stack. It's fine. And are we good to go? Nope, what do we need? Three sheets. Shears thing, she is, sheets, thing, we were good to go, it just didn't want to go, uh, okay, there we go, we got a planter, we got a harvester, and the final thing is called a fertilizer, so fertilizer needs uh, some sheets, some leather, a glass bottle, which we can do, because we've got all this glass over here, drop some stuff on the floor, we can get this glass bottle going, oh, we got three of them, look at that, uh, leather, I think we may have some leather. If not, which we don't, I'm going to go to sleep and then I'm going to go find some cows and I'm going to get some leather. And I'll be back in a sec. Cows! Oh, look at this. We can just breeze across the river with our jetpack and we can ice these cows. Come here. Come. There we go. Uh, we don't need brick, but we do need leather. Like that, there we go. We only need two, but I'm going to kill this cow as well, because I want his leather. It's always nice to have backup leather. Come here. Come, there we go. And we'll get this guy as well. Okay, I'm trying to get on this hill to fool us. Can't get away from us. We've got a jetpack. Yeah, got you, didn't we? And that's a sheep, not a cow. Okay, I'm going to head on back home, and I'll see you there. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's do it. Okay, we need leather, glass bottle. I think we can do it. There we go. Look at that. Kaplunk. Okay, so now we've got our harvester, our planter, and our fertilizer. Now, the way that these things work is they require power. So they do require one of these. So we might not actually be able to make one make one work just yet. But uh, I can set it up either way. What we're going to do is let's say just like here, maybe we would have. A fertilizer down here. So let's go our fertilizer and throw that thing here. Like that. Then we would have we could put the dirt back over it. Like this. Then just clear this out a little bit. On one side we would have our harvester. And so let's say we have that here. I think like that. And on the other side we would have our planter. Now, in this little, by default, it does like a three by three. So these three, these nine squares here, it will fill up whatever we put in the planter, which is this thing here. I put that down the wrong way. No, I think it goes any, oh, no, after this one. Okay. Okay. We need, what we need to do is actually put the planter down here like this. And then you put the fertilizer down here like that. There we go. That's better. Okay. So you fill that in. Now the planter, which is under there, whatever you put in there, will fill up these spaces automatically. And then the fertilizer, if you put any fertilizer in, will instantly grow them like you did with the trees. And then the harvester will just harvest them and then just spit them out the back. So if you had a chest there, for instance, it would spit them into the chest. But if not, it just sort of looks like spit them there. Um, and that's about it. And you can also like um, configure it so that it doesn't shear the leaves or it does shear the leaves. So we do we can have it keep the leaves or we can have it shear them and get like um, saplings from them. We can have jungle wood, we can set it to mine jungle wood, yes. Or maybe we just wanted to uh, 
set up a cocoa bean farm. So we'll be just like, no, we don't want jungle wood to be mined. So the jungle wood will stay there, but the cocoa beans will just keep growing and this thing will just keep taking cocoa beans, which is pretty cool. Now that's how it works by default. But uh, what you could do is you can add these things here called upgrades to each of these. And if I just type in upgrade, my G key's a bit stuck. Um, there's all these upgrades here, which you can add. Now you can see that like cobblestone actually does minus one. So I think that I'd probably just take it down to just this one block. It just have it just for do this one. Uh, I'm not quite sure where that'd be useful, but there you go. And then it goes all the way up to here and lapis. So lapis increases the radius by one. So it'll do an extra one, so maybe four by four. And you can do all the way up. We've got lapis, iron, tin, copper, bronze, silver, gold, uh, quartz, diamond, platinum, and emerald. And uh, emerald is a whole 11. So instead of doing three by three, it'd do like 14 by 14, which is just a huge area. Uh, which is pretty cool actually. So I think we're going to go for the gold one, if at all possible, which takes um, three gold, three raw plastic, a gold nugget, and some redstone. And uh, that increases it by a rather large amount by seven. So it should go up to 10 by 10, hopefully. So next episode, what I think I might do is I think I'm probably going to have to leave this for a little while actually before we make the gold stuff. I think what I'm going to try and do is set up some form of energy system using the lava we found over there. And I'm not quite sure how much lava there is over here uh, it's quite a while away to me to show you right now there's like a little pool of it on the surface uh, i'm not sure if it's just like one deep or maybe it's a bit deeper than that but um i think we might try and get that set up for now and then in the future we'll go to the nether we'll get some uh, tesseracts going and we can just like set up an unlimited lava source that way because i think we're running out of coal very fast and we don't really have enough power to sustain using coal forever but then again saying that what we could do is um <laughs> If we get enough, if we can set up like this, um, if we get this my factory stuff set up, we could have it set up. Um, so let me quickly show you this. If you open this up, you can see it's got um, like sections here and then stuff here. So say we want to go rubber saplings, we put rubber saplings in here, but then at a default, it just fill the whole thing with rubber saplings. But what you can do is you can set it up so that you can be like, okay, I want rubber saplings there, there, and there, but then I want seeds here, 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 and here. And what it'll do is it'll put seeds here. They put seeds where you put seeds, and they put rubber saplings where you put rubber saplings. So what we could do is we could have rubber saplings in some of the slots, maybe seeds in like we could set it up in quadrants. If we did a ten by ten thing, and we could have like a quadrant for rubber trees, uh, wheat, potatoes, and then normal trees. And what we could do with the normal trees is we could, is, um, we could have them. They're all connected to a chest, and then we could maybe have a diamond pipe, sort of splitting them off, and then uh, the rubber, the normal trees, could go off and get turned into charcoal, maybe, which could possibly be used as like power these things we could have a steam dynamo or two underneath with another aqueous accumulator and like a cell or a leadstone energy cell and i'm not sure how much power these things use but uh, we could always try that we could always try just like setting up setting it up so that the coal the um the wood made from this farm goes around and turns into charcoal and then gets used as uh, as fuel sauce maybe who knows who knows that could be a solution we'll find out but uh, I'm going to call it there for that episode. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit like. And if you enjoyed the series, tell me in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think we should do. If you've got any uh, cool ideas for some technical shizwiz that we could get it, get uh, get into, maybe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!